Hola, I'm Carlos, and I'm Spanish as a foreign language teacher. El problema, la problema, el agua, la agua. What's going on with the genders in Spanish? For starters, um, if you are speaking Spanish and you happen to say the word el problemo, like, ¿cuál es el problemo? What's the problem? People will understand. Probably they won't correct you because maybe they're very polite, but you can correct yourself once you know that you are making that mistake. El problemo, guys, is not Spanish. Sorry to tell you that. It's normally we use it because it's very engraved in the way we speak as English speakers or I think French speakers, they also make that mistake. But it's not really Spanish and it's a bit cringy, so stop saying it when you are speaking Spanish. Students, regardless of the level, they keep dragging these gender misunderstandings throughout the learning journey. So this video shows the common mistakes Spanish students make in terms of gender. As a rule of thumb, we know that the words that end in O are masculine and the words ending in A are feminine. For example, el perro, notice how I use my article, the dog, and la gata, the female cat. Taking these two nouns as our main subjects, we're going to create two sentences. The first one with el perro, uh, all the words are going to be accorded in masculine. For example, el perro es negro y ruidoso. The dog is black and noisy. So we have our article el for masculine, el perro, es the verb to be, and then we have negro, the color, accorded to the gender of the subject. El perro es negro y ruidoso, also accorded. So if you observe, we have o, 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 and the article el, all related to the masculine. Now the second sentence is going to be a feminine version of this, but with a female cat. La gata, the article la for feminine. La gata es negra y ruidosa. So basically, same information. The cat is black and noisy but the color and the adjective are accorded to the gender of the subject. In this case, la gata. So, two sentences. El perro es negro y ruidoso. La gata es negra y ruidosa. Once you know this, you have covered a lot of words, and actually they work. But in Spanish, because, you know, it's Spanish, we love exceptions, and not all of them follow this rule. Now, before you throw your dictionary out of the window, don't do that, um, the good news is that they're not a lot. They're not most of them. So, let's see some examples. Okay, we're going to start with um, feminine words ending in O. La foto, the photo. La mano, the hand. La moto. The motor, the motorcycle. La radio, the radio. I would say the most important on this list would be uh, la foto. Very common mistake to say el foto. Second list, we have masculine words ending in a. El día, the day. El problema, the problem. El agua the water, el mapa, the map. Of course, you can, you know, make a list and try to learn them by heart, but in my experience, it doesn't really work. Something that has worked for me, and maybe you can adopt, is to create sentences using the words that you are targeting to learn. The thing about gender in Spanish in words is that it doesn't only affect the word itself, it also affects the articles and it also affects the adjectives. So you have to be very careful with this. I'm going to show you some examples. So we have a sentence here. La foto es muy antigua pero muy nítida. 
the photo is very old but very clear. As you know, photo is ending in o, but it's a feminine word. So we have our article la, antigua, nítida. La foto es muy antigua, pero muy nítida. Everything is accorded to the gender of the word which is feminine. In our second sentence, we're going to use our famous el problema. El problema no es claro. Es muy confuso. The problem is not clear. It's very confusing. So we have el problema, a masculine word ending in a. But also we are according claro and we are according confuso, confusing. El problema no es claro, es muy confuso. The good thing about this sentence writing method is that you can always experiment and you can try to use adjectives that you haven't used before and you can even try to manipulate and change the whole sentence itself and you become a little bit more fluent. It's just a matter of practice and it just stays in your memory once you write it down. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and happy learning. Bye bye.